Now, worrying times for Derby. American businessman Chris Kirchner has failed to complete a deal to take over the club before this evening's five o'clock deadline set by the administrators. It means the now League One club remain in limbo and other interested parties may struggle to resurrect their bids. Our senior reporter Rob Dorsett has more. Derby County are in real trouble. I've been told exclusively that two of the other interested parties who wanted to buy Derby County may struggle to uh, resurrect their bids for the club uh, because they weren't given preferred bidder status and that went to Chris Kirshner. A number of investors, both in the Steve Morgan-backed consortium and in the Andy Appleby consortium, have now withdrawn their support for those uh, consortiums because they didn't get preferred bidder status. In fact, in one case, one of the key investors in one of those consortiums has put his money into another football club. And so if neither of those can proceed as a back stop if you like to, to, to come in and, and buy Derby County there are real concerns that the club could fall into liquidation a lot of people asking well where's Mike Ashley we know that Mike Ashley the former Newcastle owner is still very interested in fact fully committed was the words that I was uh, explained to today in buying Derby County but Quantuma the administrators aren't communicating with him I now understand why and I can tell you exclusively that that is because Mike Ashley and his representatives are balking at the idea of paying Quantuma, the administrators, their fees, which Ashley believes are excessive. I'm told they run into several million pounds for the eight months uh, they've been in charge of the club. So real concerns for Derby. The longer we wait to hear from conf uh, confirmation about whether Kirshner's deal has gone through or not, the more insecurity there is. And you have to say these are worrying times for Derby County with the threat of liquidation growing by the hour, not just by the day.